right, I'll soon I'll sound it from the rooftops after this performance, dang. Welcome back to the channel, I'm Justin Burke. I'm a singer, songwriter, and vocal coach. Don't it's the way. about to get into this reaction really fast before we do if you are new to the channel the subscribe button is right there you'll be notified whenever I post and then finally if you want to learn to sing maybe you already sing and you sing in the shower or you sing in the car and I'm telling you it is time we take that gift it's time we get you singing outside of just the shower and the car and actually get you feeling confident in your voice and confident in your singing. Take my free 15 minute lesson. It will get you started. It's going to get you excited. You will hear an improvement in your voice and it's going to get you excited. It's going to get you motivated. Then these are muscles and you can improve in this. And I sound like one of those super corny motivational speakers, but look, I, I just want you to feel confident about your singing. That's why I make these videos. And so you gotta promise me at the end of this video, you're going to at least try that and then check out Singer and when you're ready, you can join it. I can be your vocal coach and we'll really get your singing to that next level. All right, let's get into it. When you hold me in the street and you kiss me on the dance floor I wish that we could be like that But can we be like that? Cause I'll be Wish 107.5 We keep behind those doors Every time I see you, I die a little more. Stolen moments that were still as the fencing falls. It'll never be enough. Her jaw is so loose. Incredible technique. Beautiful, beautiful tone. Up in those head voice notes. Breathy but present. That's hard to do. Many times when singers go, ah, go breathy, they lose the presence. They lose that energy. And and typically just, you know, the audience can kind of check out and be like, oh, okay, whatever. She's still captivating. She has that kind of tone, that kind of presence, even with the breathiness in her tone, which is very impressive to me. It's hard to do. And listen as she leans into the sound. Interesting legato, she really connected those words there. That is very, very, very clean. That flip on that B, that was really nice. That is hard to do to be able to control the coordinations to where you're flipping. You're letting a little more air out on that B to then compress the chords again, right? Contract the thyroarytenoid muscle on the vocal folds to give that thick quality in the upper register, moving out of the head voice, not to get too confusing there. Um, the other thing that I love, because I was even wondering, okay, because the, the pitch, Okay, it's okay to be, you know, if you're a little off here and there, that's okay. It happens, all right? It's nothing to judge yourself about for anybody that's singing out there. It's okay. We've all been there, okay? Especially when you're holding out a note, you know, it's almost impossible to hold it perfectly on as if it was a sine wave. And I was kind of thinking that this was like toyed with in post-production, meaning sometimes sound engineers will add tuning after the fact, like they'll go in and kind of fix things up. And on this note that she just held before I stopped it, I kind of heard her dip just barely flat. You probably didn't notice. Okay, but if you have a trained ear, you, you just, you, you are so attuned to those kinds of things. But nobody would notice nothing against her vocal ability. If anything, I'm saying, okay, great. Now this like, this is authentic, right? So I, I can kind of tell that this isn't touched now. So that's really good. <laughs> Her, her jaw is just so unhinged. It's so loose. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Very, 
that, that now that she nailed it on that one. It's interesting, even the way that she forms her vowels. She'll kind of on the on her on her ooh vowels. She kind of like tilts her lips to the side a little bit, which is kind of interesting. She makes it work. <laughs> Yes. And can I also say that with, with the production in the background, very, very difficult to do in a radio style, um, or in a, in a radio station, rather. I'm looking for some headphones so I can like act this out, but I've done some radio performances. I've said this a couple times, but you have to give singers credit because many times there can be some latency in the headphones, which can cause crazy issues. Sometimes they can't hear themselves that well and with this instrumentation i mean there's a lot going on they're having like a drum track in there i'm kind of confused as to why they did that but whatever they did it it makes it really difficult depending on the mix that she has in the headphones and you know she's sitting she's sitting sitting i can't even speak she's sitting kind of hunched over a little bit you know that's not the best posture for singing so the fact that she's like nailing those notes just kind of bent over like i am um like in this video um, that's also very impressive. I like that grit there. Nice. You hold me in the street And you kiss me on the dance floor I wish that we could be like it's interesting, you know, she can really, she I, I, really cool to hear kind of her open up, you know, more resonance come out and even the way that she modified some of the vowels on the ends there because of her just loose jaw. She has such a loose jaw. I'm sure it is, is a, a part of the reason why she can just nail those high notes. Um, there's, there's nothing better than singing free of tension. And I really feel like she doesn't have much tension. She's just really letting her voice release. And those are a lot of the exercises that we go over and sing her. You know, when I first started singing, my jaw, I was carrying all kinds of tension. It like hurt to sing. I don't know if you feel me, but like even to speak, I couldn't speak after a while because I'm just like, man, my, I just tension my tongue, my jaw. It was bad. Like it was really bad. I think worse than probably uh, than majority, you know, maybe a few dealt with the tension that I dealt with. And um, so I had to go over all these kinds of different exercises to loosen up. Now it's, I feel b the best singing. You know what I mean? Everything's just so loose and free. And so we go over exercise. If you feel that, check out Singer. But anyway, I can tell that that she is um, pretty much tension free, which is great. I'm yours. I'm yours. Oh, you the classic squeaks. Those are my favorite, my favorite. Oh, she's going in. Ooh, I, 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 shoot, I'll shout it from the rooftops after this performance. Dang. What an absolutely gorgeous performance. And again, you know, you gotta realize she's doing this in a radio station. Headphones, okay, with the backtrack on. She probably can't hear herself that well. And the other thing is that that was not touched, as far as I could tell, in post-production. Because there were times where she would go and she would hold a note and she might have to slide into it a little bit. Or maybe she would dip flat barely, um, as pretty much anybody would. Which tells me, wow, okay, so this really isn't touched. So her pitch is incredible, you know? I mean, we're all human. When you're holding a note, it's, it's nearly impossible 
to just hold it as if it was a pure sine wave. There's going to be, you know, little dips or little uh, ascensions in pitch to where it's a little sharp at times, a little flat at times. That's okay, all right? That doesn't mean that you're a bad singer at all, but it means that you're being real, you're being authentic. And it always, you know, just sometimes like when I'm reacting to these videos, I'm thinking in the back of my mind at times like, I really hope this isn't touched on the post-production because when I'm going off and I'm like, man, the pitch is just crazy. This is, are you guys catching my lights like flickering? I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but huh, interesting. Okay, I just got this light too, what the heck? Anyway, whatever, um, I lost my train of thought, what was I talking about? Oh, um, singers, when they're like having incredible pitch and I'm over here geeking out, you know, sometimes I'm thinking, I hope they didn't edit that in the post-production because then I feel like it's not being truthful and um, you know, it's just giving us a false representation. But with her, I can really tell that was not touched. So props to her. Incredible performance. Leave me a comment. What did you think? Leave me a comment as well. What should I react to in the next video? I take my reactions from the comments. And then finally, if you are new to the channel family, you can hit the subscribe button. And I said finally, but I'm not quite done yet because I have to tell you about the free lesson on Singer. I have to tell you about Singer. I'm telling you, if you want to learn how to sing, you have to join Singer. It will transform your voice in the most effective and efficient way. I promise you, I've got your back in this. I would not let you down. I will not let you down. When you're ready to really unleash your voice, to feel confident in your singing voice, because when you're confident in your voice, not just your singing voice, this improves your speaking voice as well. Man, I feel really energetic today. Oh man, it is kind of late, it's like 10 o'clock, I don't know what's going on. Oh, I did have a lot of coffee today, that's why. Anyway, you guys know, you know me and coffee, just, I go crazy, but, Anyway, um, I'm losing my train of thought. I gotta, I gotta not take these side tangents when they come to my mind because then I lose my actual main point. And then this video just ends up being so long. But if you're still with me, you're a real one. Anyway, you can learn to sing. You can learn to sing. If I can learn to sing, if this naturally untalented guy can learn to sing, anybody can learn to sing. You can check out more of my story on the site below. But I really wanna encourage you right now, click the link down below, take my free 15 minute lesson. I'm telling you, you will hear an improvement in your voice. There's been like almost 20,000 people that have taken that free lesson and told me that they've heard an immediate improvement. And they're like, this gets me excited, this gets me motivated that I can learn to sing. And that's so just the first step. That's just the first step. Once you learn how to sing, you're gonna be like, man, what other areas of my life can improve in? Okay, I'm, I'm just, I'm going off now. Anyway, tons of love. I will see you tomorrow in the next video. Peace.